Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Now here's a quick wrap up of your Wednesday morning headlines. Students in Miami-Dade and Broward counties could return to the classroom in just three weeks from today. Both districts plan a staggered start to in-person learning on October 14th. All students will be back by the middle of the following week, but Miami-Dade superintendent and Broward school board still need to approve each district's plans. Both Miami-Dade and Broward schools will still have an option for distance learning. The coronavirus has now claimed more than 200,000 lives across the U.S. Experts and officials fear that number will rise sharply as the weather gets cooler and the flu season begins. A leading disease model used by the White House projects the death toll could reach 375,000 by the end of this year. Today marks the first of three days of mourning for the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. After a private ceremony, she will lie in repose at the top of the steps to the Supreme Court building. The public will have two days to pay their respects there. On Friday, Justice, Justice Ginsburg's casket will be moved to Capitol Hill, where she will become the first woman to lie in state. President Trump says he will name her replacement Saturday afternoon. An auto sales icon and philanthropist, Rick Case, has died. Odds you know Rick Case from his many television commercials and the name of his automotive group on many cars on South Florida roads. Besides growing his business, Case gave so much back, including to charities like the Boys and Girls Club and the American Heart Association. We're told he had gone through a short battle with cancer and passed away surrounded by his family. Rick Case was 77 years old. And that's a look at some of your Wednesday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.